A number of users have asked us how the Homebinder Appliance Recall Notification Service works. This video has been compiled to offer some detail on that process. The basis for our recall service is the Consumer Product Safety Commission, or CPSC. For the last 40 years, they've been the hub for tracking potential consumer product issues or violations and notifying the public about both problems and recalls that are originated by a particular company for everything ranging from baby toys to ATVs. They maintain a website that anyone can search to see if they have a potential recall on something they've purchased. And in addition, they provide a web service that third parties can use to search their database automatically. Historically, there have been some issues with the CPSC website and that number one, you can't really be set up on the system to get a notification in the future if a recall comes up after your search. You'd have to manually come back to the website and continue running searches. And number two, the quality of the information is such that one really cannot do an accurate search using the API. In the summer of 2015, the quality of the API improved dramatically, but still not perfect for the purposes of a recall search. Included in issue number two is the way in which model numbers are listed, as they can cause issues with the search. An example of this can be seen for a furnace recall here. You'll notice that the permutations of the model number are rather extensive. As such, it becomes necessary to build an internal database of make and model numbers so that each permutation is listed individually to improve the search results. Homebinder has gone to all of these pages of major home appliances and extracted these makes and models, as well as additional details so that we can perform the search. This database has been updated regularly to include new recalls that come out. To perform a recall screening search using Homebinder service, we need to know the appliance type, such as refrigerator, the make, such as Samsung, and the model number. The serial number does not need to be collected or input into the system to do the search. We'll come back to that piece of information as it is important once a potential recall is identified. To do the search well, Homebinder takes into account factors such as appliance type, manufacturer, and model number in determining the strength of a match to what is available both in our internal database and the CPSC API. After our system identifies a potential recall, we direct the user to the URL of the page to see if the serial number of their appliance is actually included. Model number alone does not typically confirm that a recall is present on that appliance. Given the complexity with serial numbers, this step is needed to be done manually. Once a user has checked to see if their appliance is actually affected, the information will then be presented to them to let them know what number to call to get the product either fixed or replaced. We hope that this video helped to explain the Homebinder appliance recall process, and we'd like to thank you for watching.